Evening all. Hope you can all see me and hear me. I'll sit down so I can talk at normal level. Obviously I have to wait for my delay. Let's have a see now. Here we go. Oh no, that's no good, is it? You don't want to be seeing my legs. Oh, no, let's move it back a little bit. Da, 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 a tiny bit early. We'll start pretty much on time. But I should just have a little rearrange. Oh, you can still see my legs. Isn't that funny? Hang on. Hold the line, please. I'm going to give you maximum amount of desk space, but you really don't want to be seeing my shorts. <laughs> Good job I put clothes on, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, I must off that little witch's laugh. How are we all doing? Or well, one of you. How many have I got? Oh, two in now. Hang on, I'm going to find a little bit of paper to give myself a little waft. Let's see, right, I've just got a comment. Who have I got in here then? Who's in? Margaret, hello, how are you doing, lovely? <laughs> Warm enough for you. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, it's lovely to see you pop in. It feels like an absolute age. I haven't done a live for a long time. And, uh, just, oh, mum's in as well. Hi, mum. <laughs> Okay, I was just trying to I've got my little fan on, so if anybody tell me if it sounds a bit loud, because I did move it a little bit to try and get the best use of it. But the sun's, although it's still shining in my window, it's gradually moving around. Can you me wafting? Wafty waft. I kind of feel like you're too high up now. I might do a quick change before anybody else gets in here. I might lower this one level, so bear with me. I'll try not to make you seasick. Just to bring you down a little bit. If I zoom in, it'll just go wobbly. Let's have a look. Let's see what this is like. See, I can see what you're seeing, so. So is it? Okay, let's put that up there because obviously I don't want to knock it because I'll knock you all out. And I can see put fingers in here. Oh, I have to turn the sound down. I've got feedback. I'll have to turn it upside down. Bear with me. Sound off. There we go. Oh, no, not power off. Cancel. Oh, there we go. Hi, Mum. <laughs> oh, Margaret and Mum, that's lovely. At least I'm not talking completely to myself. Right, I can move that over there. How's the sound level? I don't want to be shouting at you. Try to turn this a little way that way. This was all perfect earlier, and now I've gone all wonky on me. There, right, I'm going to stop messing now. We'll live with that because I can see what you can see. I've just got a bit of a delay. And we are, oh, I've lost the time, hang on. Oh, I've lost the time on there as well, that's my clock. Right, we're just on, so shall we start? Oh, have a sip. I'm not surprised, everyone's probably sitting in their gardens with a barbecue and a lovely cold drink. Never mind, eh? Right, tonight's make is this. Box. We can see it's 3D. I think you can see there. It's got some depth going on here. Let that catch up. Yeah, that's it. it all stands out. I've got it hanging off the page because I I like um, not 100% neat. Not feeling too well, Margaret. Is that the heat? Don't be at all surprised. What we're doing is 12 houses of Christmas. This is the seventh one of 12. Obviously, because we're July just about. With me and Tando Creative. And I've called it Hearts Beating in Time. I don't know something else. I'm going to do a quick walk with that now. <laughs> right. We did a little prep before. Not an awful lot. You do, oh, Margaret, yig. Well, you just sit back and relax. I don't know if you're crafting along with me, but you just sit back and enjoy. Just distract yourself for a little while. Should I just see where I'm going? 
and I've just done normal on the sides and the back. I haven't done anything special. So I'm going to put that beside so I've got something to look at because actually that's my what do I do next. And I think we're not going to have trouble drying stuff today. So let's have a look. So I asked you to prep black on the back and the sides and white on the front. Ta-da! I don't know if we're going to start with that. What I would suggest you do, really, this is what I did anyway, is I took all my little bits of ephemera. So I've got uh, the little clocks here. Take it, you can see that, yeah. Clocks, my little bits of squares. I may yet break these up. And some bits of metal. So this is all my bits I'm going to use. And I started composing, if you like. That has to go in the middle because it's the only place it fits. And then balance is always opposite so you can do it either way around but balance is opposite and to create a bit of interest you can have them at different levels actually I think oh, no, and when you come to glue them down for goodness sake make sure the 12 is at the top and the 6 is at the bottom and then I've got a heart which I asked you to pre-prep with some um, modelling paste oh brain goes in the heat doesn't it and I've got a little clock, which it's actually not stuck in there, although it feels like it. Oh, everything's melting around me. Yeah, look at that. Um, that's going to go on there, but we need to do some bits to this first. And then I've got another one of those, a little heart up there, and a, a heart to go. Oh, I've got another heart somewhere. Where's that? There we go, which I'll probably put down here. And then these are just for underneath somewhere. Decide where they'll go a bit later. Hello, die. Oh. That's three of us. Oh, it says five up there. Just a couple of people not talking. Love those clocks. Me too. And actually, well, these little ones are the bigger ones, Margaret. I love. I've got a couple of these bigger ones, and I've got some that are this size as well. All from Tando. And if you speak sweetly to her, she doesn't size you want, which is great. So this one isn't a standard one. Um, but if you've got the kit, you have this. I think this is eight centimetres, 80 mil, or about, oh, probably about this thing. What's that in old money? About four inches? Oh, three and a half inches across, just under. And then these bits are lovely. These are called thins, and they're great because you can cut these or rip these really nicely. Hi, Julie. Hi, Fiona. Oh, the gang's all here. So, I would, if I were you, compose your little bit here and take a photo of it, because when you come to glue it down, you can be taking it all apart, and you may find something that looks just nice. So, what I did with this one... I laid it all out similar to this because I've got this as my go-to now but you might want to take a photo you may have different bits to me so take a photo and then you can refer back to it when you start gluing it down because you obviously want the bits that are going down first you'll have taken everything off you'll do that and go oh, where'd it go now so yeah take a photo Maybe this is where we're going oh I am lovely <laughs> I don't look it. If you could see me, I just had to move the camera. I'm in shorts. I've got one of my sports tops on. And my hair's all up any which way. So it's a good job you don't see me at the beginning. <laughs> right, let's get going. Oh, I've got some little stars here, Finnebear stars as well, which may go on and they may not. I may replace this beautiful little butterfly with a skull that I've done. We'll see. I, you know me, I wing it. So... I guess we need to work backwards. So when you're doing a project like this, I've got embossing powder on these. Now embossing powder, you melt and dries immediately. So we don't have to worry about that. But things that are gonna take time are things like the hearts, because we're going to paint them. We're then going to put some grac grackle glaze. How about crackle glaze? <laughs> oh, thanks Fiona. Um, so we'll need that to dry. What did I put on those? I think that's also, yeah, that's embossing powder. That's embossing powder. If we put all the embossing powder bits together, and we can do those all in one go. So these need to be painted. That little one I've already painted because it was so fiddly. I kept flicking it on the floor, so I thought I'd do that ahead of time. So actually, once we get this base done and we get the embossing powder on here and the cover on here, it comes together really, really quickly. Hi, Diane. Um, going to watch later on replay. Oh, yeah. I don't blame you. I was saying I was, I'd be surprised if anyone turns up tonight. You'll be having barbecues. Right, let's get first job. 
I said blood red, but any deep red colour will be lovely for these. I feel like I'm missing one, but I think that's because I've done this one. Right, got your bottles of water to wash your brushes out because everything's going to dry, I think, really fast. The only thing that will take a bit of drying is when we do the washes. These, these are all washes. These greeny bits, this isn't, but that is. So we'll need to do the stenciling as well, but let's get a coat of paint on here first and then we'll do the stenciling. Medium sized brush. I'm going to move those out of the way before I sprinkle them all with red paint. And don't worry if you are modelling along, uh, creating along with me, if you can't get it done because actually it's so hot, you know, <laughs> I may give up myself. <laughs> so this doesn't look blood red yet, but believe me, when the antiquing cream or the black goes on, it will go red. So what I do, I'm going to try and keep my hands a little bit cleaner tonight because they're really dry with all this washing we're doing and obviously prepping the show as well. They're quite dry. So how are we all doing? Let's have a read. Yeah, me too, Margaret. I love a skull and a butterfly. See, butterflies normally I don't, I sort of don't steer away from, but I know Fiona um, loves them. So obviously we want to give you guys a little bit of choice. So don't tend to go near them too often. And I do like a skull, it has to be said. Now, believe it or not, I need my heat gun. That fan in the background keeping me cool um, is a bit too much, please say. I can easily turn it off. But please don't say so, because it is it's doing its job. It's only a little cheap thing. You pour water in it and then the fan blows through the water. But all I'm doing is giving these a quick coat. I might have to give them a second coat, actually, because I can see through. I'm not going to wash that yet. I'm going to give it a. Can you actually see me do that with the heat gun to wait for you to catch up, don't I? Oh, that's horribly hot. <laughs> oh, you can. I feel like I'm hiding my answers in a school. <laughs> that dries a second. You carry on at your own speed. They do actually go quite nice together, don't they? Mm. I might end up using them both. Get a bit more paint on these. Just a second coat. You want a quite nice deep colour. If I show you this one again, see how dark that looks. It's hard to also I've got my blind down, so I do apologise if you can't see quite as well. Also, you'll find over the deco art modelling paste, when it dries, it sometimes shrinks back. Um, so you'll end up with a couple of white bits, and you think, oh. I definitely went over that, but it's not you, it's the crackle pack, it's the modelling paste that shrinks back. So I fed socks before I came up, so hopefully she won't be interrupting as well. I've asked Fergus, my husband, to bring me a cold drink up in about half an hour. Just and we should be alright with all that. Right, that's all your red done. If you didn't do your little heart as well, you can do that. So we'll chuck that in there. We will move these out of the way. If you're quick about it, that should clean up nicely. There we go. I'm being careful, I know it's not like me, but I'm being careful not to contaminate colours because although we're going to mi be mixing and doing washes, we kind of want to keep them as clean as possible um, just because, um, well, because we are doing washes. So if you keep them colours as true as possible, you get that really nice contrast in colours. So next jobby, I'm guessing nobody's working along with me because it's just too hot. You can sit back, have a nice time, chat amongst yourselves, <laughs> chat to each other. And also, if I keep my desk clean, I will keep the back of this clean. So, stenciling. To give myself a breather, because talking is hot work as well. I did the original one, I love these Finnebeer stencils, I did the original background on this with this one, but I thought I'd have a change, so you pick. So obviously I, otherwise I end up with loads, I think, this is number one, this is number two, and the daisies are number three, if you can see. So I'll show them. This is it's Art Deco and it's just gorgeous. Do you know what, I might not let you have the choice, I might use this one. <laughs> These daisies are gorgeous too. 
but then again, that's my flower open, so isn't that beautiful? So all three of those are thinner bear if you like them. So modeling paste. Now what I'm going to do is put this on here and put the modeling paste through it, and I'm then going to dash off to the bathroom to put this in water. Number three, so number three, that was the daisies, wasn't it? Oh Margaret. <laughs> They're lovely, aren't they, Fiona? Well, I'll go with Margaret's one. Do you think? Will that go on there? Do you know what? It gives a feminine touch to it, doesn't it? All right, Margaret, you win. <laughs> Why not? Just because you're not feeling well, you get to choose. Um, so, yes, I'm going to put this through and then I'm going to dash off to the bathroom to put my stencil in water because any of you following along, don't sit around. Everything is drying so fast for me. So, let's do that. Modelling paste. I don't know about you guys, this is quite a new one. And I'm sure the modelling paste used to dry white, like um, <laughs> like modelling paste. But this hasn't. These are... Where have my hearts got? Oh, I can't see it now, so I painted them. It seems to be going um, clear. I don't mind, but just odd. Where's my... My trowel. I know that's not what it is, but that's what I call it now. So, hold it down. I'm really bad at stenciling too. So I'll put this in here. Oh, it's a really nice one, Margaret. Highly recommend it. I've used it on so many things. Just even if it just peeks through. I've also um, stenciled with paint and then drawn around the outside uh, just roughly and it's, it's just beautiful. Ooh. Didn't think about the toxic smell of this in the heat. <laughs> Flying high, girls. Flying high. So is anybody crafting along with me? Ah, uh, yeah, it's not as thick, is it, Fiona? Interesting. I don't actually mind it. I, I almost prefer it because it's clearer. It takes colour just as well. I just don't know why they've they seem to have changed the formula. Once you've got a bit of modelling paste through, you can actually lift, you don't have to hold it down so hard. It sort of holds it in place. But it's got, a, oh, got quite a toxic smell to it. I've never noticed really before, because normally it's not this hot, is it? We're English, I say. What is this heat? Just said dinner. Oh, nice. Nice though. What did you have? I've got mine after. We are going to have spaghetti bolognese, and although that sounds mad, something like that with a bit of chilli in or a little bit of garlic in cools the blood. Don't ask me why that works, but it does. So my darling husband, it's already downstairs, all he's got to do is put a fire under it, and that's what we'll have. And I think I'm going to be thirsty after this, so I shall probably have a cider with it. Right. Don't leave your tops off either. Corned beef sandwiches. Have you worked today? <laughs> Fiona, I haven't had corned beef in years. <laughs> Quick, right, peel this off nice and gently. I will go and throw this in the sink and I'll be right back with you. Gosh, that's gorgeous. My apologies for leaving you, it's not very really professional, but it's just too hot, everything's just going off really fast. Now what I need to do, I seem to remember corned beef hash, is that with um, mashed potato, and you put mashed potato, cabbage and corned beef, oh, and fry it, mm -mm -mm. probably. Tony's speciality, is it? Burger chips and salad, oh, that sounds like really heavy, but die. <laughs> And mum's knitting, excellent. What are you knitting, mum? Now, with this, to cut, can you catch that? Isn't it beautiful? It's just the most stunning stencil. I'm going to wipe off these edges. I don't even remember me saying straight down if you can. Otherwise, it pulls the pattern once you've got the first bit off. Don't worry too much about the um, cleanness of this edge because we're going to be um, going around it with the dark. I'll show you the original. 
so we're going to make it look a little bit rusted almost so we're going to be going around the edges so really don't be too careful don't worry about it too much oh i think i just heard thunder it might be an airplane they're also cutting the fields near us so uh hear all sorts of bangs and crashes oh i don't even know i don't know what that is but i can deal with that later right i'm going to quickly heat blast a bit of that and then let it finish on its own because the washes are going on there so we we do need it dry but i think i'll probably get away with a, a top layer dry we'll see if i don't leave yours longer um, you don't need to rush, you can replay this later and just sit back and watch me or do the, these little bits. Actually, we'll do the little bits next and that'll give this more time to dry. But also, if you hold your gun too close, the modelling paste will start to um, bubble, which we don't want that either. So you need to dry a bit, leave it a sec. Let's have a catch up on the read. Corn beef, baked potato and peas. Oh, or corn beef, baked potato and beans, even lovelier. Oh, no, peas, peas and carrots. I'm a peas and carrots girl. Corn beef sandwich. <laughs> what would you have with it? I suppose anything, really. V-neck jumper for David. Oh, today it seems too hot for a V-neck jumper, doesn't it? You'd have to send me a photo later, Mum. Cutting the fields there too. Yeah, I only knew, first of all, because Fergus started sneezing. Actually, that's... Oh, that fan's lovely. Um, it's not too loud, is it? Tell me if the fan's too loud. Oh, I'm already getting this mucky. Let's keep it clean. Mine doesn't matter. What matters is you do yours slowly and keep it clean. Because obviously I've already got one. Don't see a tie, but she'll be getting one in the post. There you go. You can use this as a sample or whatever. Oh, I've got a bit of dries here. Do you know that modelling paste, um, Fiona, is also a little bit plasticky. They've really changed that formula, haven't they? I don't mind. I still don't mind. It still works for me. Now these are drying. Actually, let's do these next. Anything that needs drying time, I'm going to do first because otherwise we can't glue it all together at the end. So what goes on here next is some crackle. What I'm going to do is stand up and see if I can get a good look at this. It's really hard. This heart has um, crackle on it. Can I get a little bit closer? Can possibly see it here. So we need to get the crackle on because the crackle has to dry. That's oh, really hard to see, isn't it? The crackle has to dry so that we can then rub the antiquing cream in. So that's the next job. Now, crackle glaze is an interesting one. It doesn't always crackle well. So I learned to put it on with my finger. If I put it on with the brush, it doesn't seem to clip a crackle very well. So I put it on with my finger. So I'm going to have. Some wet ready because again <laughs> everything's drying so fast. Never had this problem. So let's have a look. This is your crackle glaze. I love this stuff. But you could use weathered wood, you could use anything, anything crackly. It doesn't have to be deco art, they're just my um manufacturer of choice. I really do like them. And I'm gonna slap this on here because you know the old adage, the thicker it is, the bigger the cracks. What we've got to remember is that clock I'm going to put in here or flour, whatever it is you've decided to put on yours. Oh, and everything's really runny. That's so funny. I do want some nice cracks up here because that's the bit you're going to see most of. And then I'm going to put mine... I use bottles. So what I will do is put that on there because ideally we want these to dry naturally you'll get better cracks. Once it starts drying, you can heat gun it, but right at the beginning, ideally, oops, look at that dribbling. Oh, that's a nice bit there, but it might be a bit too much. Right, I'm gonna put that off camera, just there. To dry as naturally as I can, we'll, get, we'll at least get it started on its own. Um, put that aside, this is nice, get things out of the way. Oh, thanks, Di. Yeah, probably will, Fiona, dry really quickly. But that's why I think I'm going to start it off. I've put it on quite thick on a couple just because I really like 
um, crackle stuff. I love getting my antiquing cream or um, acrylic paint into those cracks and wiping back. Right, I'll get rid of that. Right, let's do some, <laughs> can't believe I've done this now, embossing powder. Embossing powder in this heat. Embossing powder, mum, or for anyone that's not used it actually. Oh my god, there's six people in there. Embossing powder um, is a metallic powder, some plastic in it probably, you'll see. And um, you put it on with some bluish type stuff and then you heat it in this heat. I don't know, what was I thinking? So uh, when, I, when I made this originally it wasn't really hot. So I'm going to use, what did I say? Let's get them out. I've got a couple out I think. I've just knocked my part upside down to bear with. Oh look at that, it's drying enough that it hasn't gone on my balls, that's amazing. I'm going to have to wait for that then, are we? Right, the embossing powder I have is uh, patina oxide that I used on the two little these clock faces. I used... Hmm. How is this? Oh, I used the honey coloured, which is actually ancient amber, on these little squares. And once you've embossed them, you can still cut them. And on the big clock, this one we're going to do first, I think it's called seasoning. It's a chunky metallic and it's, oh gosh, I love it. And actually, I did it in one hit, I think. So... We are going to, I'm going to move my house, do you know that <laughs> modelling paste is almost dry, it's crazy. Can I see? So, the way to do it is, oh, it's going to go everywhere anyway, so loosen the lid on that. Make sure it's the right way up, so we've got 12, 1, yeah, so that's the right way up. So, excuse my mucky embossing pad, I use it a lot. Da, da, da. We're going to get this nicely covered, and you'll see when it's covered because can you see it's changing colour? Tilt it, it should shine. Shine on you, crazy diamond. Oh, I love that in my head now. So, we're going to get that well covered. Use different parts of your pad. Mine is ancient, I can't believe how long these pads last. It's probably a couple of years old. I'm going to cover it because of the drying. You put a piece of paper underneath to catch my drips. And I'm going to smother it. Smother it. Like so. <gasps> Who says that? Hannah. Hannah Stone. I saw her baby today on uh, she did a Facebook Live with somebody. Okay. And um, I saw little Reuben, or Prince Reuben, as they were calling him. Now I need these. <laughs> exactly, Fiona. Oh, yeah, me too. Big fan. It's actually one of my favourite lyrics as well. Because we're all crazy diamonds, aren't we? They all, yeah. So, like, anytime somebody says shine, it just jumps into my head. So, tippy tap toe on the back. Can you, that's covered. I will show you more closely in a moment. Put that to one side without sneezing because of course cutting the fields poor old Fergus was really struggling with his hay fever earlier oh gone full circle I've actually finished the salt pull that back in there I think you can still see me this is pretty good I had this lined up pretty good today so I do these one at a time because I don't want to cross contaminate now I'll do a bit of heating because otherwise I'm not going to get a break from the heat and that's going to get hot. So I've got a heat resistant mat. This, I'm going to do it on this paper. And let's go. Now, Mum might not have seen this and it's fascinating. Watch this edge. If you can see oh, If I can, I'll bring it up. It might get a bit hot on one. You should be able to see that start to melt. It's literally molten metal. Can you see that melting? Oh yeah, you can just about to see it change. I'm going to have to put it down now because it's really hot. 
So that's the only one for that one. So I'm going to put the lid on this while I'm melting that. Shame I can't hold it closer, but that is, as you know, ladies, burning hot. Actually, it's not too bad. Come off a bit. Ooh. And the smell, everything smells stronger today. It really is quite surprising. I've got the windows open. I've actually got a little bit of air coming in the window now as well. And the sun's just moving off my windows, which is wonderful. So as we go around. It's the first day in ages I haven't been out in the water. Well, not in ages, in this week since we've had the heat. It's wonderful, isn't it, Mum? With everybody that crafts that uses this stuff. Um, loves it. <laughs> yeah, very clean person I've had, is it? <laughs> I suppose it is compared to yours actually, Di. <laughs> right, now, it will cool down. I'll come up. I'm going to stand up so you can see. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? That's just... So that one can go off to the side. Job done. And then we'll get these two little ones now. These will be trickier because they are small. So we're going to make sure they're the right way up. One, two, yeah. And one, two, yeah. So we'll do one at a time. Get that nice and so this stuff that we're putting it on is Versa Fine, Versa Mark. And it's like um uh, it's like an ink but a little bit stickier, but there's no colour to it. Oh, excuse me, I'll sweat over there. Uh, right way up. So you have to get whatever it is you're doing covered in this sticky stuff and then the embossing powder sticks to it. So that's those two. Hmm. But what's really nice is once you put it on, if you miss a bit, oh, so I'm using the patina now, patina oxide, it's one of the favourites. But it's a little bit finer, so I'm going to be careful with the fan. Um, what was I going to say? Got that on my head. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. How funny. Oh, yeah, I haven't been out in the water for a and it's like, oh, really feeling it. So, tap, tap, tap. Oh, I know what I was saying. So, the sticky stuff, I wouldn't want to put the sticky stuff on top of here, although I could. But what's really nice is once you melt this down, if I was quick enough, I could start melting and then put some more on the top. So any gaps I have, I can fill. But actually, I've got quite a good cover. This one you might see change more because there's copper in it. So I've got, I don't know what the green is, but the copper in it, little bits of copper melt down. So you might actually see that better. And honestly, these jars I've had forever as well because it goes such a long way because most of it actually comes off and you put it back in the jar. So let's see if we can watch these. You might see these move better. They're not covered. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because if you look at the last thing, bits are tucked under, bits are covered. And to be honest, I think I missed a bit on this one. So what I did was put some beads on it. You know? It was a happy oops moment. So let's see if it catches. I'm surprised how bright it is. Because I'm sitting here, in, not in darkness, certainly, but... Um, it's not bright. Oh, these are so tiny, you probably can't see. Let's see. Mm, unfortunately, I can't hold that for long because it is. Oh, blind me up. Mm, I'm getting addicted to the smell of these. And actually, missing a few bits, don't ever worry about that. Cover them if you want to later. Like if I. <coughs> excuse me, if I put some more embossing over that now it would probably stick to it and I could remelt but actually if you followed any of my tutorials ever you'll know that I'm perfect isn't me I don't know that I've ever made anything perfect although I've got a lot, little project going on which we can't show you yet because it's still uh, it's going to be released soon from die so you'll see soon but i'm actually being so super careful as you see it's beautiful but i'm being super careful with that so we're three down 
three bits down and now these which I don't know how I'm going to use yet so I'm going to do right side up you can normally tell right side up because they're where the lasers cut through them see how that's quite pale get the little black bits on the front and again it doesn't matter which way up you use them I've actually got sticky fingers from the glue <laughs> oh, how are we doing here good I don't know. I haven't got a clue what the time is. Oh, we're about half an hour in actually, and that's really good because all we've got to do, see, this is quite quick. All we've got to do, it's not sticking so well, is um, the crackle I can see is going off already. I'm going to give that a heat blast next. That out of the way. Last colour, and this I've used, Ancient Amber. I must admit, this is one of my favourites. Because although here it looks quite pale, as it goes off, as it melts, it, um, it goes deeper in colour. And it's very subtle. It's not even much darker than the grey board, but it's beautiful. Gloss up. Go with. Oh, it looks like an upside down heart, doesn't it? It's like very treasure. And I fold the paper because one, you have to do that to get it back in, but it also gives me a little lip to get my tweezers underneath. Just so you all have your own means of doing things. We do, don't we? We all find ways. I'm a complete MacGyver when it comes to stuff like this. I can't find my own way. I know there's a proper way. Jan, is it a very sweet way? Learn the rules and then break them like a pro, that's what I say. Right, last little bit. They're not even put these lovely powders away. Screw that up. Oh, sorry, my hand's going in front of the camera. How are we all doing? Have I still got you all? Sorry, got kicked out. We've got Sander here. Oh, Happy, where are you, Julie? Yeah, me too, Fiona. Just do you, that's it. Oh, look! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, what my husband's brought me. Da, da, da. I wish to, it was rum and coke, but it's not. It's just Diet Coke. <laughs> thank you. Mm. Big old glug, because... Sorry, got my hands again, but... I need to move that out of the way, otherwise I'm going to put paintbrush in it. You know how it goes. Dumfries. Oh, what's it like up there at the moment? Thunder. Yeah, that's supposed to be heading our way. I'll bring these ones back in. Oh, I'm a little bit jealous of you being up in Scotland. It's where my heart lives. I cross the border and I promise I just sort of go, ah, I really do love Scotland. The Highlands, I must admit, but... Yeah, Fiona, these things are... Um, really interesting there's circles there's squares maybe you'll put a link up die if you if you're sat at a laptop they're really versatile and you get loads on a sheet yeah it's been beautiful down here as well julia but it's lovely up there though all right concentrate on what i'm doing for a sec throwing me with living up in scotland loads of thunder yesterday when when did fiona do her um live was that tuesday <laughs> i literally was sitting in a kayak <laughs> under a bridge in the torrential rain which then eased off and then we got the call to get off the lake because lightning was happening i was telling mum this earlier lightning was happening and thunder's one thing but getting stuck on a body of water in a kayak and you're also wet is really not a good plan Really not a good idea, and we were all stuck oh, about half a kilometre away from land, and we paddled like Billio when the thunder started. But it was really funny. I sat under there. I thought, oh, it's no problem. Fiona's live. I'll see if I got a signal. <laughs> oh, do Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Didn't see you pop in actually. Need to have a hunt. Yeah, that's the thing. I have a tan. Well, I had a tango box once. I became part of the DT team. Oh, for goodness sake, I've got two or three boxes of bits now. I'm gradually using them. Okay, this one's quite hot because it's thinner. 
And why do you see this one up close? Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And yet yeah, it's still thin. I can cut that with scissors, with a knife. Just Right, let me take stock of what we've done. So all our pieces are ready that need to be treated in some way, except for these hearts. Now let's see. And where's my main, look at this. We'll do this next. Once I've got, once I've checked on these. Oh gosh, I can't believe that's dry already. I put this on so thick. Oh, that's unbelievable. That's almost 100% dry. I, I have no problem, so we'll leave those. I'll get rid of this. I will have a quick wipe down because there's probably bits of embossing powder which we don't want on the back of the house particularly. Now we're going to start doing washes. Pay attention class. <laughs> I bet most of you know how to do this better than I do. But I do love a wash. I get a little bit impatient and it has to go. Oh, thanks Di for putting the link. Yeah, you did Fiona, it's unbelievable. I put this one on really quite thick. You can see it's all bubbly. And oh look, beautiful crack across the middle there. I'm not even going to attempt to show you the cracks until we've put the black on because it's it's nigh on impossible. Oh, I've got a bit of sticky still on there. Hold on. We can do these washes, so I'll need that. Let's see if I've missed any chatter. Yeah, dig out all your bits. Every now and again, it's really good to have a clean out. Now, what we're looking to do is pretend rust. So we've got our pattern in the background and a wash will allow colour to pull wherever anything's raised. Let's see that. It will make the colour pull and you can accentuate that, take it out, whatever you like. So for this background, I use, I think, three colours. And then for around here, that's just one colour all the way around, but I put it on with a sponge, which makes it, if I come up a little bit, here, makes it not perfect, and that's that's great for this sort of project. So I'll put that beside there. So the colours I use to get that rusty green colour are Viridian, which is a beautiful dark green. It's fern green it's so dark so that's viridian then i've got yellow green light which they're my two main colors to be honest but i added in a little bit of blue here and there because it gives it a little lift Can you see up here you can't really tell that's blue you can't see it exactly on its own there's a little bit down here as well but it just lifts it and gives it a more lime green you could say why not use lime green in the first place because then you wouldn't get the depth of colour so with a wash what you generally do is put on a colour dry it put on a colour dry it and until you make it what you what you like to see so let's give a go I'm having a quick sip Mm. Goodness me, that's nice. Straight out of the fridge. Right, I can get rid of my tweezers for now. Just making sure I haven't missed a step. I haven't. So, you want a nice big brush, you want some clean water. This part is quite important. Yeah, I'm going to use that size brush. I've got some clean water. I've got still got a thing of water to wash out with. Mm, put it this side so I don't go across the screen. And I'm going to start with the lime green. Now this is going to depend. You really are going to finish or stop putting layers down when you want to. But it, I promise you it's going to go through an ugly stage. Mine did. And I thought, oh, I think I've picked the wrong thing to do. But you'll see. It comes right because you just keep adding. At the end it's going to be quite dry. So what I did was put another wash on. But of what colour? Go on Fiona, tell me what colour I use to tone it down a little bit and make it look rusty. What colour did I use? You've got a handful of something now. Do you know what else I'm going to do? A quick spray on here. I'm being careful because obviously you want to dry. I don't want you here all night. Oh, look at that. And you can already see the pattern coming out. Don't worry about going right up to the edges. This is why I said green gold. Correct. Gold star, top of the class. <laughs> Andy would be so proud of us. 
Oh dear. Some in jokes there. So yes, the reason I said put the gesso on, because where the house slots together, if water gets in there, it'll expand. So um, obviously we don't want that happening. Then what I did, can't find the opening. Let's put another blob down. While this is wet, and <laughs> it's quite tricky to do at the moment. So I put the neat colour in to get a bit of dark. In fact, I'm going to do that with a bit of viridian as well. Isn't that a great word, viridian? Isn't that, oh, for me, that really explains the colour of cleaning these paints up later. Put a bit more so it's wet. Put some dark in. I really don't worry about this. You can see I'm going a bit splodgy. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this. Don't panic, don't panic, Gawler. This is only the first layer, remember? And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay this here because we're not finished with those colours yet. I'm going to spray a little bit with water. What's going to happen is, we, we don't, really don't want it perfect because it's rust at the end of the day. I might rinse that out a little. And I'm going to encourage the colour around. Just put a bit of white coming through so I can grab up some more of this. Every time I go on, I'm going to have a slightly different colour, and actually, that is a good thing. You'll also see, there's no way you can replicate it. These are looking two different... I'm going to have to open the blinds in a minute, I'm just starting to lose a bit of light. Can you see these lovely pores? So, don't worry, this is first. I'm going to leave that, I'm going to wash that out, and give this a blast. If it's really drippy, yeah, you can run it down like that. Put a towel at the corner, because again, you don't want to put too much water on the joints. Right, got some now. Give it a blast. Just my hands going down just to stop the heat going towards the bits we've already embossed, because you don't want to pick up, and also towards the paint. You don't really want to be heating the paint. Oh, already going. How are we doing, Queen Gold? Crafter's best friend is Queen Gold. It ages things, it makes things look rusty, it can bring out a red, almost like a red oxide colour and things. Beautiful. I can't believe how fast this is going. And then what I'm going to do, you don't need to do this, you can either let yours dry naturally, but obviously. I need to show you what's going on here. So it doesn't need to be perfectly dry. And don't worry for me lifting this colour. I'm not going to worry about it because I know. Let's get some blue on there. What's coming next? So this blue is also quite a rustish colour. I'm going to get a new paintbrush because I don't want to contaminate the green and the blue because they're quite close in colour. As you'll see. Now washes mean they need to be quite wet. Now this blue, believe it or not, it's a rusty colour. You can get that green blue patina. Again. I'm going to spot it on here and there because I'm going to be splotting it off and I've also got a top colour going on this. So really I think we can safely say I'm in the ugly state, which now doesn't scare me. When I first did it, I thought, oh, I think I might change my mind and do something different, go go to my safe bit. And I thought, no, I'm not going to. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be brave this time. I'm still going to use some of this green. I might not use the blue again because actually the blue is an accent colour. I'm going to move that blue. And you can do as many layers as you want, but actually, if you think this is going to have a dark surround, this is going to work. Trust me. Can you still? Oh, that's a little bit. Yeah, it's, still so. it's really funny because it's starting to feel a bit darker in here because the sun's now gone off the back of the house. But when I look at my other screen where I can see your comments, I can see it's quite clear enough. Strange. 
all about the layers, Fiona. You got it. You got it, girl. <laughs> and the thing is, this is not what I'm showing you here. We do this a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, I get scared when it gets ugly too, Lynn. But I see to me. Oh, nearly put that heat gun on my lap. That would have made me jump. This is quite ugly now for me, but I know where it's going. This isn't something I'd be particularly happy with, but actually, I know what's coming. Like I say, see, it's pulled up here with blue, which I don't want, but I can get get to that later. I have to trust the process. I don't know if any of you do um, journaling. I journal quite a bit, and you always go through an ugly stage when you're slapping down a bit of paint, whether it's finger painting or with your brushes. Oh, it's tacky. So funny, acrylic, mum won't know this obviously, but when you use acrylic, it's plastic. And when it gets really hot like this is, I'm gonna waft it a bit. Oh, I'll do this off screen. Look. <laughs> I'll say that in a minute. Because <laughs> I've got this 30 second delay. It's quite funny, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> You've got to wait to catch up. I'm just calling this down a bit. It's Because um, it's acrylic, it's plastic. Uh, the acrylic is a plastic in the paint that's its carrier if you like um, it's quite tacky but I have, so I've got to call it off before I put the next layer on or it's not going to move properly la, 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 la. Yeah. right that's still quite hot but I think we're good because obviously we can't again I can't sit here all night now I want to tone that down a little bit so I'm going to use some more of this green that's got a bit of the viridian in and then I'm probably going to leave it I don't think I probably want to go oh look at this drying on my mat how funny is that now again this is a wash so we want it loose and I'm going to go over some of that blue I may even spray it because you want some of the blue I don't want it all I'm going to come up this edge a little bit more because I'm going to go round it. Hmm. Now this is personal choice. So for me, it's a little bit pale here where I'm putting the brush now. I might get a little bit of that. I think I have any of my water. A little bit of the dark green. Hmm. And I don't want to mix it in too much. I actually want it bitty. But I would say dry it more than I dried it. Well, I haven't dried it as much because watching paint dry is a bit dull, isn't it? So. But oh, I can't get that big mess with that. Right, that'll do. I think that's enough layers for me because it's still a bit darker than I would like, but we'll worry about that later. Don't forget as well, you're going to have pieces on the top that are going to hide that. Oh, thanks Fiona, I'm the same with you. I could watch you craft and craft and craft. It, it's funny being a crafter yourself, it's so nice to watch other people, isn't it? But yeah, it's so Lynn, that's still a little bit ugly. But I'm not bothered because we're not after perfection. If you get my original, look how little we see of that. And we've still got, I can still pull here, but I'm going to pull here with the Queen Gold because I've got this one, so I don't want another one exactly the same. So, um, and this is raw umber, we're going to do that next. We're going to check out our, how our crackle's doing. Have you thought about the pieces you're using in that have you made um, your little assemblage? <laughs> assemblage, darling. The bit that's going on the front. Have you taken a photo of it, or are you just going to do that later? Because if I get that back in a minute, well, let's get this dry in a little bit. This, I've used three hearts because it's a trinity. Threes always work, or odd numbers always work. So I've used three hearts, and I've used them in a, a diagonal pattern. You're, it's really hard to describe because it's not my thing, but... Your eye likes some kind of symmetry. It likes being paused, so this is pulling you round like this. But then we've got a little bit of interest here. We've got some interest here. We've got some interest up here. So it doesn't, it settles for a while. This clock face, if anything, 
this clock face is your primary thing to look at, but your eye keeps being pulled around the piece, and it does that because there's odds. One, 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 three. We've got three clock faces. Bizarre, isn't it? We've got three little pieces. I didn't even realise I'd done that. Interesting. Not quite sure why that works. There must be an explanation, but I don't know. So anyway, we're not going to see a lot of this. We can hide some of this. There's these splatters are going to be going on, which are, goodness knows how many there are, but they're odd numbers. You know, I quite like the science behind why our brains and our eyes like certain things, but I don't always know why. Odds. I don't know. Maybe look that up later. Right, this is nearly dry, but I quite like it to finish off drying and cooling on its own. So, have you made your assemblage? I've got pieces here. I really don't know what I'm going to use because I didn't want it identical, but I wanted it similar. And this was a mould, but I think, oh, Natasha taught me how to colour, and then this black in the eyes is just, I just love that piece. And it's just a piece of resin, just nothing. So it's light of anything. Got a butterfly, just for Fiona. Three is the magic number. Yeah, I think it is Fiona, but I can't remember why. There's something about the eye, isn't there? Optical illusions and things. I've got one of these metal flowers that I'm just going to have a poke about with. I've got this that's going on the top of my big heart. That's going underneath, and then that's my third heart, which I'm not going to do in black because I want it to... Friend Seely is in. Hi, girly. Well, you just need to go back to the beginning, my love. <laughs> We're way in here. I'm just, I'm just going to give this another blast. How are you doing, Celia? Too hot for you again. It's rotten, isn't it? Still got everybody. No, there's ten of us now. There's people sneaking in all the time. <laughs> Claire? My paddle buddy Claire's in. <laughs> That's so lovely. <laughs> no pressure. And this is my day job, lovely. <laughs> so we've got that. I'm going to put that to the side too. It is dry, but it needs to cool down. Have it my dinner. <gasps> it's too hot, isn't it? What are you eating? Everyone else has told me their dinner. What are you eating? Now I think these are dry. So this has got the crackle paste on. I think these are dry enough to... Um, put the antiquing cream in but I'm just going to make absolutely sure because I can't actually see the crackles. I'll just give that a blast. That's it, we'll talk amongst yourselves for a minute. <laughs> right. That's hot now as well. Right, I'm going to have a little slurp. So now you want if you haven't got antiquing cream, you can use acrylic paint, but all I'd say if you're using acrylic paint is work fast because it's going to have, um, it's going to dry really quickly, especially today. Um, whereas antiquing cream doesn't matter if it dries because it is reactivated with water. So, roast chicken, courgette, for, oh, come into our house next time. <laughs> that sounds really nice. If you all had really hot food, I've got spaghetti on the nose. So. I think that's dry. If I make a horrible mess, you'll just have to forgive me. I can't actually see my crackles. It may be too hot for it to have crackled, but we'll give it a go. So, antiquing cream never goes off. It's slightly chalky when it dries. That needs to go on there. I'm just getting out some colours so I don't forget what's coming next because I'm hot, 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 hot. And a sponge, yeah, right. So again, I'm going to use my finger, because light dye, don't mind getting wet, don't mind getting mucky, and I've kept my hands dry up until now. Now this looks awful, it's probably going to worry Lynn again, but we're going to let that dry a little bit, and then we're going to wipe it back, and what that will do will hopefully bring out the crackle, if there is any. If not, I'll show you a trick. I won't be able to crackle it, but what I will be able to do is to make this looking a little bit more interesting on this. Claire, don't feel you have to stay. Mum, you too. I've sounded my own voice. I'll get boring after a bit. Oh, Claire, this is what we're making of. <laughs> it's a little 3D box. 
We're doing 12 houses of Christmas. So basically all the design team are doing one a month and we're, um, so that when we get to Christmas, we've got 12 little houses uh, for a little display, hopefully at Christmas time. Right, I'm gonna dry that off a bit. Crikey, look how quick it's drying. But actually, I don't want it completely dry. I'm gonna clear this mess up. Mum, pile of French beans, cauliflower, red cheese, parsley, so oh. Fruit compote with cream, fresh cream. Oh, mm. I think we've got yogurt and strawberries, the last of the strawberries from the garden. I went and had a look today. Nothing, nada, they're finished. And I, oh, I do, we've been eating strawberries from the, the truck that I, we planted up last year. In heaven. Right, we're going to wipe back now. Now this. Get cloth. There's a bit of water on there because what you want is a damp piece of kitchen towel but not soaking. I've still got you all. Golly gosh. And what we're going to do is wipe back but carefully because you don't want to remove all this black unless you do and you only want the black in the cracks. But I like to wipe and leave. So when I said pre prep this, we had different... Um, layers. I said do it roughly. Oh, can you even see this? Because it looks so weird for me. This is quite dark. So you've got it really dirty there, so move it around a bit. A bit more water. You haven't bought a new ball, Claire. Seriously. So Claire is my paddle buddy. Burgers and salad washed down with Thatcher's vintage cider. That's exactly what I might be having, Claire. I adore, I adore Thatcher's, it's my favourite. We go to the um, the shop when we're down in Cornwall. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I think I might be having a Thatcher's later, but it might be a Rattler. Mm, I'll see. Anyway, you haven't bought a new board. I'm seeing Claire tomorrow, so we're not going out on our boards tomorrow. We're going to go for a walk up in the up on a really steep hill funnily enough in the heat what we like and um you can tell me all about it then what is it <gasps> do you know when i saw you so starboard is a, a brand and it's a racing board when i saw claire tried one the other day when i saw her on it i thought mm, oh, a glass of rosé sounds nice too and i did wonder whether you were going to have a look are you going to sell your other board <gasps> Did you? Oh, I tried one of those down in Cornwall, aren't they fast? So Claire and I are a bit of a, we've become these uh, these women that absolutely adore their boards. We're just, it's really hard to keep us off the water at the moment. Right, I'm getting a really mucky bit of tissue, so I'm gonna change it up. Because otherwise you're putting on and taking off, putting back on again, taking it off. Rosé is nice. Especially on a hot day, actually. We might have to stop on the way back. I said I'd buy you an ice cream, but maybe I'll buy you... Maybe I'll buy you a Thatcher's or a Rose pub <laughs> on the way back. We're going to need something. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. I'm wiping back. Let's have a... I'll show you. I might take these back a bit more, and I might not, because that red, you can barely... Oh, there you go in the light. Barely see it's red. But we're going grunge, Okay. Well, I'm going grunge, because the other one I made quite pretty. Too pretty. Oh, I can't believe she's bought another new board. Ah, oh, enjoy your walk, Celia. Dexter's her dog. He's not very well, bless him, but it's like an only way. You can't take the dogs out in the full heat of the day, can you? But, so she's walking her pup. Well, Dexter's got her. Bit of a heart problem now, but so he's 11 and he's struggling. And he's just the most beautiful dog. Yeah, it's blood red. It's not what it's officially called, it's officially called Rouge. Yeah, which is French for red, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's obviously really deep red, but with the black on it, oh, this bit's even nicer. And do you know what? I can't see crackle. But. 
maybe in daylight because I'm sitting here. Never mind. No crackle, I don't mind. Not much I can do about it, so there's no use fretting about it. Right, so we now have, I think, all our elements. So we need to finish this. We're nearly there, guys. Look. So we do a splatter. That's the last thing we do. All of these are done. They just need to be glued on. So what we're doing now is around here and the last wash. So let's get it. Let's get jiggy with it. Where is it? I took it out, didn't I? I want the Queen Guard. I want raw umber. This is like... In the real world, mahogany. Oh, bye, Seely. Yeah, bless him. So you're going to put out not too much if it's hot in your room. For goodness sakes, like face the sun in here, but my fan's doing really well. It's actually doing quite a good job. I might even bear with me. I'm going to put the blind up a little bit because I'm struggling to see. I'm going to have to watch on the screen to make sure you can still see and aren't blinded. But the sun face. Oh, that's better. I can see what I'm doing now. That's better. So, dab on. I'm going to do karate kid here. Dab on, dab off. Okay, so take some and then dab it off a bit. You don't want too much. Can you see on the sponge it's got bits? That's what you want. You don't want this to be a perfect edge. And you're going to go on the opposite edge so where it's heavy here so that the lighter spills into here and I'm still going in at an angle but I want that dark we're going to do this a couple of times but this is going on really light uh, lightly not in color but in quantity which means by the time I get round I can go round again because this can come in as far as you want you can keep it really small like this right on the edge and can you see yeah, it comes out a bit like that. that was that grungy look that's how I've got that grungy look all I've done is load up my sponge the heavy side is on the outside edge so you're getting all this lovely speckle which you've got very little control over and that's a good thing might put a bit too much on there but that's okay Right, so how are we doing for time? We're at the hour, so we're not doing too bad at all. There isn't a time limit on these, other than probably when we get back out in the garden. So dip dab dog. So remember, heavy on the outside. And that's why you pull the colour out onto your mat. And if you do too much, if you're quick, you can wipe it off with a damp cloth. <laughs> that ain't happening today, it's just too warm. So, there we go, there's our first layer. What's interesting is, oh, it's awkward to turn. I'm going to put that down for a second. Can you see the difference? Good drink. No comments, that's good. So I'm going to squeeze a bit more out because this is already drying on my mat. Ridiculous weather. Although it is July, it's quite nice to have a proper summer, isn't it? Make sure I've done the right colour. <laughs> and already now we've got a little frame around our, our box, so it's already, you know, that it doesn't look quite as ugly now. Still ugly to me, but and look how lovely and dark that is. It's just the nicest colour. And think about how rust would settle. You're not going to have defined corners, so bring that in a little. If you want to. Your project at the end of the day, you can do. If you don't like it as grungy, don't make it as grungy. And as well, although I've used green and blues here, if you want to do a different colour, do a different colour. But think about these are your contrasts, your hearts are your contrasts. So the contrast against the green, especially I don't know if you can see that, with the light catching it, the contrast is fabulous and with the antiquing as well on these hearts if you want a bit more red to show through carry on wiping don't stop where I did just keep going and all I'd say is make sure that thumb stays clean if that's what you're holding the top with otherwise you're going to end up with brown blodges in the middle which might be terrible but you know 
Tell you what, Claire, if you're still in there, you're going to be doing all the talking tomorrow. Hold my horse there. So I want to hear all about this new board. What made you do it? <laughs> Whether you're selling your current board. <laughs> so we're going for a walk, but we'll still be talking about water sports. We both became addicted. I don't know what it was. We have the best fun when we go out. There's a group of three of us that we, we tend to do long, but most people don't seem to want to do too long a voyage yet. I think it's still, still quite new. And we'll go out all day if we could. Remembering our water, eh, Claire? <laughs> and snacks. <laughs> and actually remembering to drink the water. We'll tie it to our board so it doesn't fall off when we bring them out. <laughs> Right, I think I'm going to leave it there because otherwise I could sit here all night titivating it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thankfully Claire doesn't work either, so and she's she's got the most beautiful horse. But um and doggies. And we just oh. I don't know, there's something about being on the water that's just grabbed us, whether we're racing along or whether we're, well, Claire races more than me, whether we're racing along or whether we're just ambling along, enjoying it. Right, I can put all those colours away now, because like I say, I'm going to stop red as well. And that just leaves me the Queen Gold, which I do need the outside to be dry, because otherwise it will uh, pull the colour out too much, which we don't want. This little sponge can something just went crash downstairs. There's probably socks, Fergus and socks doing something down there. I think it's socks is coming for something to eat because I can hear Fergus talking. <laughs> Neither no, he's gone crazy or he's talking to the cat. Or fish watching. Oh, we were on the canal the other day. I was telling my mum this earlier. We were on the canal the other day, and there was. Um, we came around the corner, and we we hadn't. Was that then? No, that was on the Saturday morning. You came around. The, yeah, that was on the the big canal. Oh my goodness! And the fish were like this, absolutely enormous, and they're just under the boards. It's just that's the most fascinating world, and lots of little ones as well. We put our phones, uh, our phones are in a watertight case, and we put them under the boards. If you follow me at all, um, go and have a look. Um, and you can see the fish swimming around under the boards. Absolutely brilliant. Re oh, just love it. Right, let me give this a little. Now, ugly. Watch ugly turn. I, it's not as ugly as I think it is. If I wasn't doing this with you guys, I'd probably put another coat of a lighter green on there, but um, you really don't want to be watching me do that. So, brush. And this brush, run it clean. And this is our rust in a bottle, I think. I don't know if it was Andy who calls it that. Lots of people call it that. Oh, the fish watching is great. We also, we need to go back down our little bit of trim what do they call that? Tring Summit. There's a kingfisher down there and we've yet to see him. Determined to see him before the end of the year. Now this, we're going to coat the whole thing on the front. Do you see how that goes? You've still got your green and your blue showing through. Look at that pooling. Now to me, that is absolutely beautiful. And actually... So if you do short sweeps, you're going to make odd patches. If you pull from the top right down to the bottom, you're going to get these pulls more. And you can let it run a bit if you want to. I'm going to, because I've already got a pretty looking one, so I'm going to, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. If it's a bit too dark for you, get your, rather do this, or get your spray bottle, give it a spray. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to grab a tiny bit of this with a spray of water. Let's see what you can see. You saw two at Cook's Wolf. Right, next out in Cook's Wolf. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Oh, thanks, Julie. 
there, look at that magic. I, I agree with you, Fiona. It's just, it's just the best stuff. Now, if you wet a piece of tissue so that what I'm doing here is stopping it being quite so absorbent, I want to do a bit, but not a ton. And what I'm going to do is lift some of this out now. And if I don't like it, I've still got some on here that I can put it back on. But I'm going to lift just little patches here and there. I'm going to move it about a bit. And all the time I'm looking to see, do I like it? Do I not like it? That's dripped off the side. I love that. This is why we did black. I've made it a little bit mucky in places here, so what I'm going to do is clean that out, but I'll do that later. And all I'm going to do is put another coat of black gesso on it. That's all you need to do. That goes in there. In an ideal world, you would leave this to dry on its own because those pores will pretty much stay as they are. But obviously, I haven't got time, and I think that's another little bit of thunder coming. So I'm going to dry it off a little bit because I want to show you about composition, a little bit about composition. I'm sure you can do this just as well as I can, but sometimes you do need some queen gold. Mm, yes, you do, Julie. It's a magical thing. You can put it on bright colours and um, water it down more, and all it will do will give you um, almost a sepia look. You can leave it in its in its um, raw state without watering it down. I can't see anything in my room that I've got with it. It is just the most gorgeous. I mean, it is this color, it's a reddy brown, like a rich walnut wood. It's beautiful. I'm trying to see, I must have something in here with it because <clears throat> I use it. Mm, ask Fiona, we use it an awful, awful lot, but I can't see anything. I'm just doing a quick look, actually giving this a chance to dry. Um, Mm, no, I can't see anything in here because everything I want to show you, I'm actually not allowed to show you right now. <laughs> now, oh, Fergus has started making dinner, I can smell it. Well, I'm going to leave those, I keep changing my mind because I've got the opposite red where I haven't put anything on. Look at that, That's, that was how it started. Right, composition, that's almost dry. I may not get a chance to glue this simply because this may not be as dry as I want it to be. So my composition, let's have a look, because there's one last thing to do, which I can't do while this is wet. Got a minute? Do you mind if I dry it? Shout if it's too much, because we're almost there. Literally, once this is dried, once the queen gold is dried, it's just putting the composition on and flicking it, so gluing all those pieces down and flicking it with a bit of this. This is again, it's an art alchemy, it's a thinner bar, it looks like that and you mix it with water, put a tiny drop on your mat, spread it with water and um, get your paintbrush leg so and literally flick it on with your water. So in case I don't get to that, I wanted to cover that. Oh, do you know what? Oh, it's doing so well. So well. I think I'm going to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Right, composition wise. So we've got all these lovely elements. And like I said to you, oh, that needs to be glued on. Come on, Bradfield. I will be gluing that on there, so I'm not going to get a chance to do it all. So my central point was 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, remember? I'm going off centre. I may yet move this about. Then, move it on, there it is. This little piece will go in the middle. It's just, you're not going to see very much of it. It's just to give it uh, depth and um, texture. But... It's up to you whether you put it up a little bit higher or lower. See, so this is going to be entirely up to you. It's why I don't really want to glue it down because I want it to dry properly and then I can do it. But I, I want to explain where I am going with this. Where's my original? So here's the original. So I'm going to use this as a guide. 
Oh, I can smell Dido cooking. <laughs> it's wicked. Oh, hang on. I didn't. Am I being... I actually did that upside down like I told you not to do. <laughs> so I can't put it together now because I need to do the other side of that. I'm probably going to put that there. I'm going to put... Well, at least I did one the right way around. I'm going to put that there. So 12 at the top, remember. I'm actually going to cut that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, what a Dylan. Did it upside down. Then I'll place that there. I might be changing this. I might have to post it up later. Yeah, because I want to break these. So this one I'm going to place here. So I'll probably go quiet a little bit because my process of putting things together takes a little bit of thought. I might put that up there a little bit. So, and this is going to be the same for you. You're going to think, oh, I don't quite like it there now because you've got a pattern that you don't want to hide or something. I've got this really bright red heart, which I want here. So you see rule of thirds again, or the trinity, whatever you want to call it. I've got this beautiful rose, which we're not 100% sure we're going to use, but it does give a feminine touch. We're going to put... See how easy that broke? I just ripped that. That will hide under there. Okay. I may put a bit, I may break a bit more off of that one. Mm, yes, I might put it down here. Now, we can either put our heart, our butterfly here, or we could put that gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, we could. Blimmin, blimmin, blimmin. We could do both, couldn't we? What? Let's just put it down here. There's nothing to say. Bear with me, folks, because this is your creative. You get this. You could have both. Oh, my goodness me, you could have both. I'll need to balance that on something. What are we doing? Can you actually see all that? I'm so sorry I've gone off screen, haven't I? It's because of me thinking. We want everything in that corner. Your thirds will then be, can you see them? The butterfly, the clock and the skull become your threes with your hearts, with your clocks. I haven't done that intentionally with these pieces. In fact, what I would do is probably take that bit off. And possibly tuck that under there. Possibly. Oh, liking that too. So you see how much it's got covered now. So you really don't want to be spending too much time on this background. And look how those colours have pulled. Beautiful. I don't think I want the flower this time. I've even got a spare bit. So that's where I'm going to go. But I need to dry off and I need, I need to emboss the correct side of this. What do you think? We could move it around, we could even, you could even take that out completely. The clock face. Um, so you're going to splatter with some gold paint, some sparks if you've got them because they catch the light. The skull, yeah. Me too, Margaret, I like that. Oh, what have I missed? Da da da, da da da. Right, I might stop. Oh, God, thank you, Fiona. Love it. Oh, thank you, Di. It's really hard because sitting here and looking at the screen, but they're actually, considering they've got the same colours, this one hasn't been sprinkled. When I've finished it and glued it all together, I'll put a picture up for you. One last thing I had, which I can't seem to see. Oh, here they are, of micro beads. So, you've got a bit, I spoke about things being ugly. If you've got a bit you don't like, you can put a few beads down here put a few beads, these are micro beads, I'll show you them, they're the devil's own, but they're tiny, can you see that, let's see if you catch up, can you see these tiny tiny beads, look at them, hundreds of thousands in there, so, um, 
I think the camera angle's moved. Anyway, you can put them, I will probably put some glue down the centre of the butterfly and put some of those micro beads on. And the very last thing you do is do your sparks or your gold flicking paint over because what that does is bring everything together. You'll have gold or silver on absolutely everything and it just unites everything, it ties it all together. But I will do that off camera simply because um, I need some drying time. I need to emboss that and I will show you it at the end. I hope you had a nice time and I haven't worn you all out. They are great if you don't drop them because I've actually got some on the floor for you. <laughs> Fiona and every, I'm obviously I'm barefoot at the moment and I can feel them underfoot. No matter how much is like glitter, no matter how much you hoover or wipe up, weeks later you'll still be finding micro bleeds. But I'm gonna call that quits because we've been on an hour and a half. It's very hot. I need to have my dinner and <laughs> a nice cold drink, probably a Thatcher's. And I will see you all very soon but I promise when I've done this I will um, put a photo up so you can see the finished it's going to look pretty much like this one but I will put a photo up because yeah that skull's looking good isn't it thanks Margaret I'm glad you liked it oh thank you everybody thank you for being here especially in the heat and I'd love to see what you make so please 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 anyone watching this on rewind please show us what you make but you can change the skull for a flower. It doesn't have to be metallic. It can be a Fomiran flower or, you know, the paper flowers that are made. Use your imagination. Use whatever you like. Change the colours up. Do it your way. Thanks for being here tonight. I was really pleased to, to have you all here. I'm going to call that quits. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.